Hey everyone, here I have a couple boxes from uh, MacSales.com or Other Worlds Computing uh, and my MacBook Pro. So today I'm going to be installing a 240 gig solid state hard drive uh, from OWC as well as what they call the data doubler which we'll, I'll show you right now. So right here I believe this is the data doubler. So let's go ahead and open it up. Essentially what this does is it allows you to uh, remove the optical drive from your MacBook Pro and add another hard drive. So what I'll be doing in this case is I'll be removing the optical drive, moving the hard drive that came installed in the computer into this um, carrier and being put the 240 gig drive in the uh, normal hard drive bay. So I have a toolkit here from the data doubler as well as a few screws and whatnot. Let's go ahead and take a look at the solid state drive. So OWC memory right there. Let's go ahead and crack that guy open. So inside I have the uh, Otherworld Computer OWC Mercury Extreme Pro Solid State Drive. It's a little heavier than my uh, 128 gig Corsair drive. So let's see if we can open this guy up. So there's a hard drive right there. Solid State Drive. Nice blue color. Verify that that's uh, 240. 2.5 SATA, stream, 240 gigabyte. Yep. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and open up the MacBook Pro. So, to do that, we want to flip it over, and we're going to need a nice screwdriver here. Uh, remove these 10 screws on the back. Okay, now that I have the screws out, we're ready to take the back off. So it just pops off like so. And then by our normal hard drive bay, we have two Phillips screws right here. And then the hard drive will lift right out. After we take this carrier off. Oh, didn't get the screw all the way. So then there's a little tab on the hard drive to pull it out. Then we're just gonna, going to disconnect the SATA cable. And then as you can see here, we have um, some little bracket screws right there. We're going to need a torque screwdriver, which they provide you in the box. I'm going to use mine though to remove these. Let's take our solid state drive now and put these screws on that. And there's four. So now with the brackets in, I'm going to reconnect our SATA connection. And I'm going to slide that into place. And then put our bracket back on. Now before I put the data doubler on, I'm actually going to install Snow Leopard using the optical drive here. Um, that way I have a way to install Snow Leopard. Um, yeah, that's about the only time I actually use the optical drive is when I'm installing applications. So, I'm not actually going to bother putting the screws back on, however I will put the back on and flip the computer over as I install that. Okay, now that I'm booted from the CD, I'm going to go ahead and um, 
actually restore from Time Machine rather than reinstall the entire OS. So I'm going to use English for my main language. The first thing I'm going to need to do is actually format the solid state drive. So I'm going to go to the utilities and go down to disk utility. And then from there I'll be able to select the 240 gig OWC Mercury drive. I'm going to click on partition. I'm going to do one partition. I'm going to title that MacBook Pro SSD and then click apply and then partition that will format it basically um, partition complete down there at the bottom I'm going to go ahead and quit out of disk utility going to go to our utilities and go down to restore from backup and I'm going to restore my system so I'm going to click uh, continue down here from the Western Digital Passport and I'm going to use August 10th. Continue. I'm going to restore that to MacBook Pro SSD. And then click Restore. And yes, I'm going to click Continue. So that will take probably about an hour and a half. Okay, I'm going to show you how to put the hard drive in the data doubler right now. So we take our hard drive, and at kind of at an angle, we slip and slide the hard drive into that. And then we're going to screw in two screws. The black screws that they provide you are the ones that go in there. Take our Phillips again. and screw that into place. And we have our hard drive which is ready to go into that optical. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install the data doubler. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is actually take this ribbon cable out right here. Uh, to do that, we're going to pull up on this tab right here. I'll just apply a little pressure and then it will pop right out. There's a little bit of adhesive right here, so we're going to pull that up first. And then we'll pull that tab out. And these are just contact pins, so they just pull straight up. Uh, the next cable that we need to actually go ahead and detach is a little guy right here, this little black cable, you go ahead and you pull that towards the optical drive. Now there are five screws holding the data doubler in. Uh, let me go ahead and zoom out. There's one right there, one right there, and then two right there. Uh, the second screw right there won't be exposed until we lift that up, so let's go ahead and do that now. And then once you have this lifted up, um, you can get to that uh, second screw. And then there's also one screw right there. So I've already removed those other ones, so I'm going to go ahead and lift up, pull the drive right out. Uh, now there's a bracket on the back of this drive. I've actually already taken it off. We need to go ahead and install that on the data doubler. So it's installed right there, as you can see. And there are two screws that um, OWC included with the data doubler. They're, not, they're little black screws, and those actually go right there and right there. You use the screws that Apple provided for every other um, connection. I'm going to go ahead and slide this guy in. And then I'm going to pop down that connection and then screw in my screws.
So that guy went in. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and do this black cable, and I'm just going to slide it into the connection on the motherboard. So you just slide it towards the other side of the computer, and it will go right in. And tuck it in between the crack of the motherboard and the data doubler. I'm going to go ahead and fold that guy down now. The long screw goes right there, right by the corner. Take my other screw, and pop that guy back in. Uh, now I'm going to take my ribbon cable. Remember the adhesive goes right here. Um, if you try to do it the other way, it won't work. Um, so put the adhesive side on the data doubler. And then push it down on the motherboard. Let's see if I can't get this last screw. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen that guy a little bit. There we go, I got it. Just had to wiggle it in place a little bit. We're ready to boot up with the solid state drive now. And our data doubler. And we're booted and ready to go. So we have our MacBook SSD right here. And then we have the hard drive that is in the obstacle bay right there. So that is uh, having two hard drives in the MacBook Pro. Alright, thank you very much for watching.